five, four, three, two, one. All right, uh, lift off and the clock has started. Yes, sir, reading you loud and clear. Because I'm the happy clap along if you know what happiness is to you. Because I'm the happy clap along if you feel like that's what you want to do. Hey everyone, Randy Coppola, U.S. Launch Report and Veteran Space Report. And here we are back at the SpaceX Launch Complex on Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, where we haven't been since the tragedy of the CRS-7. Now the redesigned Falcon 9 stands behind me with its Orbcom payload of 11 satellites about to be launched. The big historic thing, Beyond the return to flight, the legs at this bottom of this Falcon 9, the redesigned Falcon 9, mind you, with five extra feet of uh, capacity for propellants, is going to try and land at Landing Complex 13. And we'll be here to bring it to you. So stand by for more coverage from U.S. Launch Report. Behind me is the Falcon 9 and it's a special launch because a historical landing is going to be attempted at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The date is December 20th, 2015. Stand by for more coverage of this historical event. So we're here at the remote camera setup on December 20th before the historic launch of the SpaceX rocket. It's really a feeling in the air because we haven't been out here in so long. The big difference in the redesign of this rocket, in order to make it land, they needed more compressed fuels inside that rocket. Now this runs on RP-1, which is kerosene derivative and liquid oxygen. So they had to lower the temperature of these uh, fuels to make it fly as far and carry the extra weight for the fuel to land it back here here at uh, pad 13 as I mentioned so that in itself is untested technology because when we ask SpaceX how much will be on board they really don't know just yet this is how experimental and historic this launch really is 